Croke Park, Dublin are at home to Cork for the All-Ireland Hurling Final. Cork have the light collars and there's a crowd of over 26,000 to watch and cheer. Dublin's Lord Mayor greets the players and among the visitors are Mr. De Valera and his son, Dr. Ryan and other ministers. From the start, Cork forced the pace and a great deal of play swings over to Dublin's goal. The title has been away from the southern capital for 10 years and it's plain that Cork are after their 12th title. An early goal for the visitors peps them up to a grand fighting pitch. Dublin show bursts of spirit and for 15 exciting minutes the cork forwards are fully tested. But the superior hurling of the men from the Lee puts the issue almost out of the question, even at the halfway stage, when Cork lead by 11 points. The Dublin men play gamely and almost grimly as Cork pile up their lead. But only once is the Cork goalie called on to deal with a dangerous shot. In the second half, Cork literally run away with the game and hardly a shot is muffed. When the end comes, they're 20 points ahead and so wrest the title from the team that had beaten them at their two previous meetings. By their victory, the Cork men join Tipperary and Kilkenny at the head of the honours list. A grand game and a great day in the annals of hurling.